Hello everyone and welcome to Mod Development and Kerbal Space Program. Recently I've been working on a pass-through system whereby Kerbals could float through their spacecraft. It looks good, but on the other hand it's not exactly the most functional thing. At the very least we need stations to work with for the Kerbals to go through. Starship sort of works well, we needed more internal props for that. And it occurred to me that in general whether we're looking at stations or trying to get props, NASA has us covered? Not, not entirely, but uh, it has resources for us. NASA has a whole lot of 3D models available. A lot of these are meant for 3D printing though, it says right there. And so not the most suitable for things in Kerbal Space Program, you know, taking things in through Unity, but uh, presumably these International Space Station uh, parts are not exactly easily 3D printable. And there are a lot of them. In fact, this is the internal. That's important. So we can have the internals of the International Space Station in the pass-through system. Obviously, we need that if we're going to make a replica of it. And we could use that to get the props. Uh, it is uh, reasonably hefty, but not as hefty as the external model. And it only covers the U.S. side, unfortunately. Uh, but the external model, there's a bunch. This one says high res, and you might think that that is the best one, but no. It's from 2011, and it is not actually the best one. The best one is this one, I think. This is the one I was using. It is nearly 500 megabytes zipped. And uh, going to Blender, uh, you can see it here, but it's got some drawbacks. As anybody, I'm sure a lot of people have uh, picked up this particular model of the ISS from NASA before and tried to make use of it because it is fancy. And in fact, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen people try and sell it as their own. But anyway, the perils of public domain resources, of course. But yeah, there are, there are a few drawbacks. First of all, it's all one mesh. It's not separated by part. So that's a pain in the rear end because it's 1.3 million vertices and, you know, more than 2 million faces and definitely cannot be imported into Unity, well, into Kerbal Space Program like this. Uh, we will need to do something with it. And w potentially worse, you see in Kerbal Space Program, you can only have one material per mesh. This is one mesh. It has, it has a lot of materials. Uh, in fact, I don't even know how many. It says 99 plus there. It's definitely plus. And the list is endless. And the way they've named them does not indicate what the heck they are. <laughs> and uh, it does have the textures sort of baked into the thing. Uh, the, 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 that's what, And some of them are called internal error, which is wonderful. But there are a lot of textures. Lots and lots of textures in here. And the problem is that each mesh can only have one as far as Kerbal Space Program is concerned. And that causes issues. But I've managed to do something with it. Uh, so I've worked with it, but it's not perfect and I'm still going to continue working with it. But I wanted to give a progress support uh, just in case people are interested. And yeah, because it's going to take a lot of time. So here is what Harmony looks like. I've done three modules. I've got Columbus, Destiny, and Harmony. And it's not perfect. There are these parts I don't have any texture for right now. And there are other issues. Now Harmony is complicated because it's got four hat. sorry, not four, six hatches. So if I wanted to make an animation, it's not very good to have all the hatches open at the same time. So the hatch part is separate and has to be placed on the right node. And I might need to make it bigger to close that gap. Uh, see, these are the problems. But uh, another problem is you have to be, well, I'm not uh, sharing this yet until I've worked out some of the problems. But once I do, you will have to be cognizant about which way it opens because you can see it's clipping through there. So that has to be rotated. That still does. It needs to be rotated the other way around. Anyway, you get the picture. But overall, it looks nifty, I think. And we've got the internals. I tried to put a bump map on it. The, the, the textures that NASA provides. So all, all these textures are provided by NASA. 
and the models are provided by NASA. I just adapted them. I didn't do any of that stuff, but they didn't provide normal maps. So I just put a simple bump map on and you can see the sort of pattern that's on these things. That's probably not right and it's probably a little bit too forceful. So I'll need to tone back on that. But so yeah, flags and all. And hopefully a Kerbal can flow in there, but I'm a little bit worried. Uh, not so much with this model. This model it looks fairly clean, but the others make me worried. So that was Harmony, and I wanted uh, one that had one opening, one that had two openings, and one that had, you know, that was a node with many openings. So here's two. This is Harmony. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is Destiny, the US lab. And obviously we need to put the door on here as well. And the, the bulgy side is inside, so that way around. And open hatch, and hopefully it doesn't clip, but there are other issues. See these, they're, they're these streaky bars, uh, they're these polygons going across like that. And that is super peculiar to me, because if we take a look at the part in Blender, well here in Blender, we don't see those. There is none. It always looks nice in Blender. Anyway, uh, but uh, yep, there's no indication of such things. But it gets worse. Not only is it not evident in Blender where those are coming from, it's not evident in Unity either. So this is Destiny in Unity. Yeah. But just peeking through, you can't. There's no. There are no polygons like that. We can sort of clip through here. You can see there's no polygons going across like that. So that's weird. And I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> so these are the things that I need to figure out how to fix. And maybe somebody's got a suggestion for it. But uh, yeah, I don't know why those are there at all. I mean, otherwise it looks sort of nice. The the external texture here, I mean, it could use a little bit more definition. The body of it obviously did not have... There's a polygon going there, too. Anyway, the body of it uh, doesn't have, you know, enough of a normal map to it. Or even better, mesh details. But anyway, so that is Destiny. And then finally, Columbus. This is what Columbus looks like. But it has one of these polygons too, which are not visible in Blender or Unity, and I don't know why it is there. These things drive me crazy. So, yeah. I'm aware that uh, uh, Toa Sampa is working on a ISS, uh, working on the community ISS mod. I'll uh, produce these and you know, if you guys want to use them, that's fine. Uh, but obviously they're not compatible. The, the thing about the pass-through system is it's not compatible with the normal way of doing things in Kerbal, whereby you dock and you transfer a crew because uh, there can't be any... I there Well, I wouldn't say can't be, but it's weird to have both an IVA view and the pass-through system at the same time. Um, so I'm not going to be making the IVA view separate and doing that whole business and having crew capacity in the module when I'm going to have Kerbals just float right through and maybe take a seat somewhere or something like that. Boy, are there are a lot of handholds, by the way. And if I turn each one of these into something that the Kerbals could actually hold, like actually have a ladder module on it, that would be complicated. So but that might be something I decide to do, but it is complicated. So, yeah, that is not done yet. I haven't made, you know, handholds for the Kerbals, but it might be a thing that needs to be done. So, yeah, anyway, that is something I'm working on. And once I figure out what's up with the polygons and tone down the bump map so that it doesn't look like a carpet in here, uh, then... I'll uh, we'll test them in orbit to make sure the Kerbals can pass through and I'll 
give them to you, but I don't know how well you're going to be able to use them uh, because you won't have a. Sp You'd have to EVA the Kerbals from the spacecraft and flow through. It's complicated. Anyway, so, yep, just a little bit of a progress report, and I hope it is of interest. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.